what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and finally finally we've got the camaro back and that means we've got some more money this is of course my 2019 camaro and it is back and as you guys saw in a few videos before this i did get some new mods for it we got nitrous along with some visual stuff now just an update on the visuals i did send off my anvil notch spoiler to get painted so anytime now we should be getting that back and when we do we're going to be installing the anvil spoiler along with blacking out all the chrome front back and the tips but today's video is not about that today's video is about the throttle body and the adapters that are being used and i'll talk a little bit more about that just in one second but man let's just get a cold start up on this thing for you guys The smell of E85 is just so good, guys. Just the smell alone should be enough to go E85. The power is just secondary. But man. Anyways, guys, we're going to pull the car out and show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we've got the car outside. And today's video, what we're going to talk about is this adapter right here. Now, for those of you that do not know, I am running the 95 millimeter ZR1 ported throttle body and of course the MSD intake. Now, I had the throttle body before I had the MSD intake, so I was using the LT1 manifold. And this throttle body is from ICT Billet and it is used because the ZR1, the LT5 throttle body does not have the exact bolt pattern to bolt right onto an LT1 or LT4 manifold. When I switched over to my big 103 millimeter MSD, this adapter now became a restriction point. I basically have a restrictor plate here. So we have 95 millimeter opening throttle body, and then we have the 95 millimeter adapter, and then of course we have the big 103 millimeter opening of the MSD. So basically in this configuration here, guys, I am, using this as a restrictor plate and not taking advantage of the full 103 millimeter opening that's about to change because solar performance the same people that i got my 95 millimeter ported throttle body from have made their own adapters guys and it comes in really good packaging as you guys can see here and i'm gonna just pull this out check this out guys this is the new adapter for this setup here and this adapter is made specifically for the zr1 95 millimeter throttle body and an msd atomic intake as you can see here it is much larger it comes with all the bolts and screws that you're going to need and this thing actually has the perfect 103 opening of the msd let's go ahead and get this out for you guys there you go you guys can see here it has even has the cutouts where the msd o-ring groove come into place and it's nice and smooth it doesn't have any abrupt kind of blocky cutouts here and this is a true flush finish with the msd intake along with this inner ring here is exactly the 95 millimeters of the bigger zr1 ported throttle body let's go ahead and do a drive around and data log with the setup as it is and then we'll swap out the adapter and go back again all right guys so again we're not trying to go any speed but we're just gonna floor it So we'll cruise here and then we'll just floor it. It's 
so I think that'll be pretty good good data right there so we've got our our data we've got our airflow so let's go ahead and get back home swap out the throttle body adapters show you guys the difference in them and then come back and do the same thing all right guys so look at our mass airflow sensor is at 9,000 100 almost 9200 9200 and you see here 3450 3400 so now let's go ahead and swap out the throttle adapter and see if it increases or decreases all right guys as you guys can see i've got the throttle body off and looks pretty clean it's got a little bit of oil but nothing major the front side of it very clean you guys can see 100 millimeter effective and here is the ICT billet adapter which you guys can see I can put my finger and pull behind it so it's definitely much smaller let's go ahead and remove this adapter alright guys so here we have the solar performance adapter on top of the ICT billet adapter and here is the one that I was running and as you guys can see much more of a difference I mean we can actually place this and it you can't even see you can see the big step down in the bottom it's kinda hard to, to show but maybe here it's a little bit more of a better adapter you can see here guys so even from the original ICT billet this one at the 95 millimeter port side is still much larger than the ICT billet one so on our throttle body here when you placed the this ICT billet one on here it was still a little small uh, there was still a little step there all the way around and now when we place the new adapter it's going to be flush, completely flush. So there is no more step anywhere around. So it is a smooth transition from the throttle body to the adapter. And then with the same token, this on to this side. All right, guys, check it out. Look at how smooth, even right here around the bolt hole area. You guys can see it's got the little notch. And now we're utilizing the full 103 millimeters of this atomic intake. So let's go ahead and put everything back. This kit comes with all the supplied screws and hardware. And we just put this O-ring in to create the seal on the throttle body. Put everything back together and we're good to go. So let me wrap this all up and then we'll go for another drive and then do a final comparison at the end. All right, so. We're gonna data log. Now, what I wanna see is what the peak airflow is at those times, like we saw at the end of third gear at about 65 miles an hour. That is what I'm interested in seeing to make a good comparison. So let's go ahead and find out. So here we go. Let's go ahead and try it. Alright, so that was really good actually. This thing pulled very smoothly. Wow. Okay. Well, we got our data. We'll find out whether it improved or it didn't, but I can say it feels good and it looks a lot better having a smooth transition than just having a big step and reduction in the size guys so let's get back home and compare the data and see how that works that is quick that is very quick Alright guys, so here we have the log and here is where I gave it the beans 
and if we move up you guys can see we get up to about a, there we go 300 3453 and 3455 of dynamic airflow which is five pounds per hour more than when we were running the car with the old adapter now that is pretty good it's not a big difference but it did improve so guys there you have it it was a little bit of a difference but it's an improvement nonetheless so the car did improve and it did feel better it felt really good honestly guys that felt really good now unfortunately we can't try the difference out at the track and see if it made any difference track time or time wise because of the issues that are happening around the world now um, hopefully you guys are staying safe i know we're doing our best here and pretty much on lockdown for the most part but whenever we do get back to the track we'll have the new throttle body and we'll also have the new tune which is supposed to correct the first and second shift throttle body closing so hopefully when we get this car back to the track in the near future the weather might not help us out but what will help us out is not having the throttle body closing and that new adapter let me know guys what you thought about that adapter now just a little th plug i gotta make guys of course if you guys haven't checked out my patreon account make sure to check down below it is five dollars a month but there's monthly giveaways this last month i gave away a 50 dollar gift card and in the month of march i will be giving away another 50 dollar gift card so sign up for your chance to win monthly giveaways and if we can get to one thousand patreons i will be giving away this 2003 mach 1 mustang so make sure you click the link down below and check it out also guys if you like the content make sure that you subscribe hit the thumbs up button and ring the notification bell so that we can press push this content out to many more people that's going to be it for today guys we have the new throttle body adapter in place and of course we do have the nitrous kits still waiting i've got the wing and a few other things coming so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell to stay up to date because the nitrous is coming and it will be here uh, on the car installed in the near future so hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you guys in the next one